Hi readers, welcome back. So to start off the session, I wanna tell you a little story. There was a time where I went to the store to get some chips for my brother and he specifically asked for Cheetos. So I grabbed him some Cheeto bags and when I got home, he looks at the bag and he's like, no, this is not right. And I'm like, yeah, this is a Cheetos bag. And he said, no, look, it says flaming hot Cheetos. I don't want hot Cheetos. And I'm like, oh no, I forgot to look closely at the words on the label. And this had me thinking about you readers, that readers do that too. We have to remember to do a slow check. So I wanna remind you today, readers, that when we're solving tricky words, we need to do a slow check. Take our finger and run across a word and make sure that we're saying the word out loud. And as we're saying the word out loud, that what we're saying is matching the letters in the word. So I thought we could try a little bit of this. Do you all remember yesterday when we were reading chapter two, how Mr. Watson was just dreaming about driving a fast car and Mrs. Watson was just dreaming about giving Mercy more and more buttery toast? So let's go ahead and continue. And again, readers, just follow along with Ms. Gonzalez and be sure to help me when I run into some trouble. We're gonna start right here. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Mercy were all so busy sleeping that they did not hear the bed crack, crack, crack. Hmm, I know you guys are thinking, no, Ms. Gonzalez, that's not right. So, okay, readers, let's go back to our anchor chart and let's think about what we can try here we have our anchor chart we stopped at the first sign of trouble and now we're gonna try something okay so i read the word maybe we can try reading the vowel in a different way okay so here we have the word and at first i said crake using a long a sound and now we're gonna try to uh read the vowel in a different way what if since i see it either what about a Short E sound. Crack. Crack. No, I don't think so. What about a long E sound? Creak. Creak. Yeah, I think that works. So now we have to do a slow check, my friend, okay? We have to do a slow check. So we have cool. E. So we all remember when we see an E A, that makes the long E sound. E. Yes. E. Great. Okay, readers, really quick. I actually want to give you one more tool. So you've been stopping at trouble. You've been reading tricky words and you've been trying one thing and when one thing doesn't work, you try another. You have been showing us that you guys are the kind of readers that don't give up and you're just very persistent. And due to that, sometimes you think that you're reading a tricky word correctly and you have to be the boss and check it and you can do a triple check. Readers, you can ask yourself, does it look right? Does it make sense? And does the word sound right? So here we added our check it, do a triple check. Remember, you're checking the word to see if it looks right, if it makes sense, and if it sounds right. All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and try the triple check. I'm going to read the last sentence of chapter two. And if you see me run into some trouble, make sure to help me, okay? They were all so busy dreaming that they did not hear the floor m on, mon. 
They did not hear the floor mon. Oops, does that sound right? No? Okay, so what could we try? Okay, oh, I see a word that I, I see a word in this word that I know. I see an, moan. Oh no, that doesn't work. Okay, what else can we try boys and girls to, to make this word sound better? Um, okay, what if we try uh, sounding out the vowel a different way? So I kind of use the mo and it kind of used a short A sound. So, oh, thinking about this word that we used before, I see two vowels together. And what's that rule, right? When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Okay, so that means it's going to say its name. Okay, so if I see an OA here, that means the O needs to do the talking. So we need to say this word with a long O sound. Okay, let's try it. M own. Moan. I think that sounds about right. Okay, so doing a triple check. Remember, the first thing, does it look right? Let's see. M. Own. N. Yeah. M. Own. Moan. Remember, when you're looking at it, the way that you're saying each letter, does it match the word? Yes, it does. Okay. Second thing, we need to make sure that it makes sense. So that means you have to reread the sentence. They were all so busy dreaming that they did not hear the floor moan. Yeah, thinking about the picture, right? Thinking about the picture, yeah, that makes so much sense. Okay, now does it sound right? All right, let's read it one more time. They were all so busy dreaming that they did not hear the floor moan. Yes. It all sounds great. So readers, you have a couple of tools in your hand now. You can double check your words by doing a slow check and you can triple check your words by making sure it looks right, makes sense, and sounds right. I want to leave you all with a song and this song, it goes to the tune of if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, you guys ready? Sing along with me. If you think you got it right, check it out. If you think you got it right, check it out. If you think you got it right, triple check with all you might. Does it look right? Does it make sense? Does it sound right? If you think you got it right, triple check. Off you go readers. You can take a picture of your sticky note or your paper with all your tricky words and send it to your teacher. I'll see you next time.